be a failure. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. So, um, investor is a very interesting topic, man, because there, there is no technique, one technique that you can use that can work for all. It's really a combination of a lot of things. Uh, there's so many variables, man. It depends on your industry, depends on the, you know, the, your location. You know, in the States, for example, it happens more often uh, that investors can invest in an idea. You know, we all know the chances of a startup to make it, it's less than 20%. When you look at uh, Uber, for example, I was reading about uh, a little bit about the story of Uber, where, you know, a bunch of friends came up with a concept, great concept, they went to a few people and raised half a million just on a, on a, on a, on a concept, on an idea. Um, and there's a lot of stories like this, especially Silicon Valley. But investor in Africa, they're strictly based on revenue. I've talked to a lot of them, right? Um, and they look at revenue. That's their first and main um, factor of measuring your valuation. So that's the difference, you know, so based on the revenue, it dictates what your valuation is and if they're interested or not. Usually, based on my experience, um, revenue of half a million plus, especially when you get to the million dollar, that's where they're interested in. Um, the risk appetite of investing in Africa is very low compared to the States. And I think that's why the States, it's so ahead of the curve when it comes to innovation, because they understand that you have to take the higher the risk, the higher the potential return. But the very interesting thing that I've seen with American investors compared to any other investor in Europe, in, in Africa, especially in Africa, if you're a technology company, they look at your technology, even if you post, I mean, pre-revenue, right? Means that even if, you, before you even make revenue, they see the technology, they see how unique it is, and they see the business case behind it. And they're willing to invest on it because they put a value to that technology alone you don't see that in africa you know and this is the thing you develop a technology that's one of the challenges and the second thing is you got to build a business you got to find customers you got to build a revenue and all those things that's why it takes such a long time but in the states it, it's it's really really current so what's happening is you're able to get injection of fund to build your business most local investors what i mean by local in africa we want a sure thing. We want something that's gonna uh, have a chance to work. So the, the more revenue you have, the more proof of concept you have, then you know the better chance for them to have a return on investment. The second thing is institutional investment, I should have clarified, that's what they focus on. That's what they're looking for. They want a sure thing. Angel investors, that's why you should be targeting. That's why you should be focusing. That's why a lot of time we don't talk about it. We talk about laws, we talk about institutional investment, but angel investment, unfortunately in Africa, is not well developed. An angel investment, somebody has a lot of money and uh, willing to take a risk, and they usually invest between 50,000, sometimes up to half a million, depending how great your idea is. But angel investor is strictly about network. You're building the trust. Because they come in on a stage where they're not investing necessarily in the company, they're investing in you. If you're a high net worth friend, it's much easier for them. But if you, have no, if you don't know anybody who has money, now the question is, how well are you in networking, finding those people? That's going to be your biggest challenge. That's going to be your biggest fight. You know, to go ahead and start building a, a, a list of, of high net worth individuals that you can tap into. And that always comes with connection. Somebody has to open the gate for you to that individual. Some of the challenge I've seen on the continent, man. A lot of times, somebody wants to connect you with a high net worth person, wants to cut before you even get a deal. So man, like, how are you gonna get a cut 
by just connecting me, by just giving me a number. I haven't even talked to the person. I don't even know if that person going to invest or not. I don't even know if that person is interested in what I'm doing. I always tell people, man, just get rid of the middleman trying to use um, the internet, right? Uh, and network like that. Do conferences, talk to those individuals. It takes time to build that relationship. Showcase. Always document your journey so far, what you've done so far online. I have a website, you know, um, do a vlog like I'm doing. And if you've been following me, I've been documenting my business journey for the last six years from day one. Angel investor is the gap you need to get you to the next institutional investor. And, and they, they're less active because institutional investors are more document driven. Angel investors are more person driven, people driven. Uh, the process with an angel investor is much faster than an institutional investor because that's his or her money, they make the decision. Institutional investor, they have to go to a board, they have to get all the documentation, they have to build the case to the board that this is the right investment to do. It's not their money, you know, it's a pool of money. We've seen both, we've had angels, We've had institutional, um, but now looking back, I should have focused more on angel investors. They're more engaged into your business, guys. They can connect you to more people because they also have a huge network. You, you just need a one good one, right? One good angel investor that understand what you're doing, that really want to get involved, and that want to bring value. Because now they put money in, they want to see that stuff grow. They want to see that business grow and become something so they can cash out, you know? So they're going to get engaged. And as a startup, that's very important because, you know, you're wearing multiple hats. If you have somebody out there that is your ambassador of your technology, your business, that has a huge network, that's a huge plus, man. That can help you a lot. Um, last thing I would say is institutional investors are very, very strict on the KPIs you have. So you better be sure to deliver before you get an institutional investor. Angel investors are flexible. They understand, they've been there, most of them have been there. You know, they understand things change. Market shift, the economy get lower or higher. You know, so there's all these variables. So they're more flexible. They're more willing to understand what you're going through. All right, guys, I hope that give you a little bit of um, Inside, maybe next time I'll talk about where to find those angel investors. I'll put a list together and come up with something um, to share with you guys. Peace.